look, I started performing when I was very young and uh, I had the joy of um, working with my mother on stage. In fact, I was about six or seven in the Tamworth Musical Society. And, uh, but I expect I started professionally when I was about 20 and I graduated from uh, NIDA. Then I went on to do a lot of film and television after that and then I f sort of fell into musicals. I can't go past um, musicals like Les Miserables and Miss Saigon. Performing in London in The Phantom of the Opera was certainly a highlight. Playing the Phantom, you know, sort of an iconic role and of course directing Freedom which is I think probably the highlight. It's always the, la the latest thing I've done but it certainly is it, take me, it took me just right out of my comfort zone and into a totally different world. I want that one and that one. Excellent choice, Charisma. Thank you, Father. Jumping across from the performing arts, uh, live performing arts into, into film was a an extraordinary uh, experience. Why? Why God chose us to be half human? To be strung up whenever they want? Huh? To work all our lives and to die? The thing about the film was, I was challenged by the notion and the uh, experience of having to direct an Academy Award winning actor, Cuba Gooding Jr. Fabulous guy, fabulous actor. Why well, you do this, Miss Aguirre? Sammy, you have to trust. Like your mama trusted Monroe? Um, but here I am on set, and I get to the point where I've actually got to say to him, I'd like you to do something different. But certainly there was a point where I had to actually direct him, and uh, I did run through my mind, hell's bells, here I am, a boy from Sydney, boy from Tamworth, if you like, um, suddenly in a situation where I'm directing an Academy Award winning um, actor. Can be found in the darkest of places. Oh. 